Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fairly new release. This is from Tressalore. This is Bliss and mine is in the color Dark Smoke Gray. I'd like to thank Shirley from Shirley's Wig Shop for providing Bliss so I could review it for all of you. You know, I attended um, her wig out Wednesday. I'm recording this on Thursday. So last night I attended her the first time that I've ever attended her wig out Wednesday on Facebook. She had these, she had Tressalore, she had Ellen Villa, and she had Belle Tress. 45 to 60 percent off. I urge you to go on over and check it out on Wednesdays, her wig out Wednesday. And actually on her website, there are some of Bliss that are in the wig out Wednesday. I'll, I'll leave it linked for you down below at a lower price, but there's only certain color. So if you want some other color, then it's the regular price minus the 30%. But if you want the wig out Wednesday price, I'm going to leave that link. And maybe there is a color on there that you would really like to have. And of course, come on over and join her private Facebook group. I will also leave that down for you, listed down below in the description. It is a great place, lots of ladies helping each other. So I am very grateful to Shirley for providing uh, this wig for me. Let's take it out of the box. As I mentioned, this is dark smoke gray. This is a light charcoal with a blue tint. That's how Tress Allure describes it. Uh, and that's pretty much what I see. I, I have one. I may have one, maybe two of Tress Allure in this color. I love this, this gray. This is more of a really silvery type of gray. These are regular synthetic fibers, so you're going to have more shine to them. It's going to reflect light more than what we find on our heat-friendly fibers, but you know, a little bit of dry shampoo and it's fine. Maybe even give it like a quick soak with um, a tablespoon or two of baking soda, cool water, just run it through and just make sure to to rinse it out really well so you don't have any of that residue on your on your wig. Ear to ear, a lace front, a full mono top. It doesn't seem the the top, the mono, the mono and the lace front seem a little bit thicker, maybe a little rougher than some others that I've felt. I don't know if there if this is something new that some manufacturers are doing, but I want to point it out to you. Um, felt covered ear tabs. We do have an extended nape with Velcro adjusters. Now, Tressalore tends to run a little bit large on my 21 and a half inch circumference. So I will be cinching it in. We have a weft cap and lots and lots of stretch. I believe it will fit a little bit over the 22 inch. Just something for you to keep in mind. I'm recording today. So you'll probably see me with this get up in, a, in another video. I don't know which one's going up first, but I'm trying to record as much as I possibly can today because I'm going away for the weekend. As I mentioned, today is Thursday. So I have today and tomorrow. And then I'm taking the weekend off. Beautiful fibers. I love Tressalor fibers, whether they're heat friendly or non. And this is a non. Personally, I prefer... Tressalore heat friendly fibers, but that's just me because I, I prefer heat friendly fibers over any of the others. Okay, uh, let's first take a look at this part. It does a really nice part there. It's not dense. Go on the center part. So I am going to just leave it on the center part just so I could review it. If I want to do a left part, or a right part because this is a mono part so therefore we have multi-directional parting i'm going to have to use some seam if yours comes the same as mine remember i only have one sample so just because this one is wants to part in the center it doesn't mean that yours will just something to keep in mind right now i'm going to take some water and these fibers are falling a little bit on my face but what I would do is just add some steam and probably with, uh, with a little bit of manipulation, 
you're going to be able to really train them. Always, usually when a wig is at, right out of the box, you might find this especially, I find it more with the regular synthetic fibers than with heat friendly fibers. See, even, even now you see how much it's, it's just going, I, I really like this wig. I really, really like it. I think it's really pretty, but you know, this is like, this is right up my alley. Let's take a look at the lace front. I want to point this out on this color. This is, as I mentioned, dark smoke gray. I find that there is some knotting. We have a dark root. Sometimes some manufacturers will blend or bring some of the gray into the front and they will have that, uh, they, that, that knotting won't be as, as evident on it or obvious on it. You're, uh, I don't know why on the Tressalore heat friendly fibers, like I have three, um, three tone gray is one of the colors that I wear from Tressalore and you don't have the knotting. Anyway, let me show you. There are two things I want you to uh, pay attention to here. We have knotting because of the because of that dark root but we also you see that I'm going to hold the camera still keep it there so you could see the knotting and I'll zoom it in also that lace front it is very very narrow this is just a matter of preference some ladies some wearers prefer a much wider lace some prefer a very narrow lace some even trim their lace back because they want it this thin but if you are one of the ones that prefer a wider lace that's why I'm pointing it out well for anyone just so you are aware and that way you could make your educated decision if this is a style that you want or not I think the fit is excellent as you saw I'm wearing a wig cap I'm wearing a wig grip and and I cinched it in and I have a 21 and a half inch. So here is the ear tab. And here is my very low hairline. So really, really good coverage. Let's take a look at this side. Here is the ear tab. And here is my hairline. Overall, I think it is a beautiful style. The permatease is nearly non-existent. We have just a tiny little bit of permatease. Minimal right at the crown and that is what's going to provide this form right here i'm not i'm feeling a little bit of permatease kind of like towards right here around the middle and it needs it because if the if the style doesn't have a style like this doesn't have that little bit of permatease and just strategic areas, you're going to have a, a style that falls down very, very flat. It's almost nothing to talk about because it's so minimal, but I want you to know it's there. As far as the density, I think this is an average to light density. Look how very sleek this appears. Here is my test right there. There's my little ponytail because of the very light density and I don't feel as if we have extra additional density up here. I don't think there are extra fibers. I think they just did a really nice job with this design with the exception of maybe the knotting. And if you have, if, if that is something that you really don't like, there are products on Amazon that you could use on those dark knotting. Isn't it so pretty? I think this is perfect for anyone that wants a little bit longer shoulder length, not exceptionally long. And we do have a little bit of the darker fibers. You see on the back here, see that? Just a little bit darker right there. And of course, if you really want that lift on the front, you could always steam it. The measurements on Bliss, we have a fringe 
of 10 and 3 quarters to 12. So we do have some layering here at the front. See that? We have a crown between 12 and a half and th 13 and a half, and the nape is 10 and a half. I know many of you have asked me in the past which of the dry shampoos it is that I use. Even on my grays, the one that I use is the Batiste, the dark brunette. And the reason I use this one is because it, it gives it a little bit of dimension, but it also eliminates a lot of the shine. Please just be aware that you this one is going to appear shinier to you than it is in actuality because I am surrounded here by all kinds of light in order for you to be able to see me. But this one works really well. I, and I just spray it very easily. I don't know if you can tell the difference. I guess my goal with this was so you could see that your wig is not going to turn a brunette. All right, everyone, let me know what you think about the dark smoke. Is it dark smoke gray? Yeah, the dark smoke gray. Let me know what you think about Bliss. Is this a style that you would like? I'd love to hear from you. Thank you again, Shirley, for sending Bliss over to me so I could review it. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, head on over to Shirley's Wig Shop and go over to the wig, wig Out Wednesday section so you can find your bliss in that incredible price. Again, I will leave it listed down for you in the description box. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye.